Farron Lander from Healthy Homes Environmental and we're here today doing some testing on this home and we're testing for dirty electricity with a Graham Stetzer meter and we're going to put it into the separate circuit here and I'm getting a reading of 1900, it's 2000 Graham Stetzer units on this one circuit and the separate circuit, the circuit above is showing 1800, 1900. It's showing averaging out at 1800 gram sensor units. And now we're going to look to see what's contributing this dirty electricity to these two circuits. One of the things that we do when we find high levels of dirty electricity is we put a Stetzer filter into the circuit to see if it changes. So I'll put it on this filter here or into that circuit and then we'll move over to here and we'll test the circuit again. and it has virtually no impact on the reading. So then the electrician and I will have to take a look and see whether or not it's the lighting or the switching that's creating the dirty electricity. That's the next step. So hi again. Before we did our uh, mitigation work outside, we had readings of 2,000 Stetzer units on these two circuits in the kitchen and we went out and we checked the phone system and the phone system was grounded. The cable system however was not grounded and we've isolated the kitchen from the rest of the house and we're going to check again to see what the Stetzer readings are. So bearing in mind that they were reading at uh, 2000, they are now reading at 210 Stetzer units. So that's a drop of 1800 Stetzer units on this circuit. And then I'll check the other circuit in the kitchen and it also is reading at uh, 125 Stetzer units on the upper circuit. So now we'll energize the rest of the house and see what we have. So what we've done here is isolated the entire house and we're going to turn on one breaker at a time and see what kind of effect it has on the uh, overall GS units put onto the house and on that individual circuit. So, turning on that one does. Still at 100. 100. 170. Drop down to 135, 188. 267, 300. Okay, so that one's a high one. Which one is that? It's, I'll look at the schedule afterwards and uh, determine, gotcha. but I'm going to put a, a mark here on that breaker to do. Yeah, that's running right at uh, 325. Jump to 490, down to 135. 98. 150. So what we'll do is go through each breaker in that fashion and determine which which ones cause the highest dirty power and then switch over to the other phase and repeat the same process. Okay. And then once we've figured out which breakers are contributing the most dirty power, we can go through the house and look at those circuits individually and figure out what it could be on that circuit that's causing the extreme amounts of dirty power. And that's pretty much the only way to go through the house thoroughly right, and nice take care of it. Excellent. So what I've done is I've disconnected the power from the house and I'm hooking up to the hydro side of the breaker and I've made this plug where Farron can test the dirty power coming into the house from the street rather than testing the dirty power in the house we can determine whether or not uh, it's you causing the problem in your own home or if it's you're being fed dirty power from hydro in which case we need to use filters at the panel to filter the power coming in. Okay. That's basically it. So. Here we are we're going to plug the meter in again and now we're on the BC hydro side not the customer side. Yeah, it's the lowest reading in the house. So you are getting considerable amounts of dirty power from hydro. It's still up around the 400 range by 300s on the one side. So we're going to test the other side. 
So you mean we're getting a high amount of dirty electricity from the BC hydropower source? That's correct. Correct. So on, on average, you're you're getting about 350 uh, stet gram stetsers uh, units. units from BC Hydro. That's considerably higher in the house, so you are causing quite a bit of your own dirty power with things in your house. We've noticed that your your pot light bulbs are compact fluorescents. If you look past the, the, glass. the, the glass there, you can see the corkscrew inside. So things like that will contribute. So it's just a matter of going through the house, checking every single bulb, every single little device around the house, and, uh, and eliminating things like that, and that should bring it considerably lower. So for that compact fluorescent bulb over the garage here, we just unscrew it and screw in something that doesn't have a, a regular incandescent, yeah. Okay.